Hello, Rick to new video. Today we're gonna take a look at Gaslord, which just got released in Pokemon Go, a new Pokemon in Raids, and the Ultra Beast is here, and a Pokemon with an insanely good moveset. We're going to take a look here at the Crunch moveset, which can debuff the opponent's defense, and my honest opinion on the moveset as well. And we will take a look at some nice gameplay here. We will have 10 builds for the Ultra League. Spoiler alert, I went 5-5 five and five with this team. I got hard counted at least two times um, where I couldn't do anything at all. Like there was nothing I could have done at all. Um, which happens. I don't think this team is perfect either. But I, it's kind of what I got to play with, with my Gus Lord. I didn't really know what else I wanted to play with it. And I thought it would work out. And I think in theory it also works out. I just was a little bit unlucky sometimes. But um, here the first opponent decides to already surrender against me we're going to have here the team with drapier and will be able to do some nice stuff against like psychic types especially for crosshair i needed two answers for that anyway as we see the next opponent having a giratina in the lead and swapping into a charm user which basically tells me already they're going to have another one in the back which means i'm basically screwed here um but yeah we will see here that we can go for one more sludge bomb and we will be able to get the final shield but i'm also kind of screwed because now i have to go and find drapion and my drapion will not like this matchup either and i will not be able to destroy a charm user and giratina with just a drapion because my um gust lord will always be matched up against a charmer so like there's not a lot that i can do here this was basically hard wall as well which just happens What's my opinion on Guzzlord? Uh, my opinion is, on Guzzlord is that you should run the move, um, what's called the other move, that it's not crunch, the Hydreigon move. Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing is what you should run on it. I don't think crunch is the better option. Like I saw people talking about it, crunch, if you get the debuff, it might be the better option, but uh, I didn't get the debuff and I can say I wish a lot of times I had Brutal Swing instead which is something that I would recommend here as well. I think Brutal Swing is the better move for boss, uh, for boss or for Guzzlord after using it for like 10 games now. We will see the Talonflame coming in here, which is okay for us. We actually a pretty decent Talonflame answer. I don't really want to risk it to take one Brave Bird here. I think it would do. It wouldn't knock me out, definitely not from this range, but would put me into red health. So I'm going to be able to shield this up, go for one um, Dragon Claw here real quick, and I will be able to go for another Dragon Claw soon. Um, otherwise, maybe, I don't know, maybe Crunch has some play as well, depending on how you play it, but my opponent decides to start another anyway. But at this kind of time, like, I didn't really see the benefit of having Crunch over the Brutal Swing, and I think I saw some benefits about Brutal Swing over Crunch. Here we see the first game, like, this game was actually, I think, the first game that I played where I got completely hard walled from the get-go. First was a hard lead loss, now we see the Swampet coming in against us. Fine for us, at least, we can now go into our Guzzlord. Bad thing here is, I thought I would be able to now farm them all the way down, but this is, I'm not in range yet for me to farm them down. They're still gonna get to move with, like, 2 HP in a dream, I have to shield you up. And let's see what they have in the back. It's going to be, after swapping into our... Um, fighter, it's going to be a talent flame. So we have a uh, ice type against my dragon. We have a uh, swampert against my poison type, and we're going to have a talent flame against my fighter. What a nice day to start off! This was the first battle I played. It's always randomized. So what amazing time to start with this one here. But there's not a lot that we can do there. This happens just in Go Battle League. Sometimes you just get hard walled, but still. Honest opinion on Gaslord as well, I think it's a cool Pokemon, I think um, we're going to see this more often as well in the Ultra League, I think it's going to be like one of those Pokemon that you can use, that you see sometimes, but it's not going to be core meta, but it's definitely something that you can use, something like comparable to Koma, but it's easier to get, and you definitely, I would definitely recommend you to trade for it, especially also for Great League, I'm still hoping that I can get one for Great League, I have to see if I can do some trades for it soon, but um, of course, you kind of want to have a low AV version of it, and it's kind of difficult to get this. You can only do one um, special trade per day as well, which limits this as well. So I don't know if I can showcase it before Warsaw, but after Warsaw, I'm going to definitely try to showcase the Guzzlord as well in the Great League version, because I'm really interested in how this thing going to be in the Great League, especially if you can just take a look here in the Ultra League, how big this Pokemon is. It's insanely big. When I try to make my thumbnail, I usually do like the RR plus mode, because it's going to be be easy to like have a good thumbnail with it um it didn't fit into my room it was just so big that it didn't fit into my room and i think it would be just cool to bring this pokemon into like some kind of metas maybe even to like regionals it's kind of funny there um but yeah right now we will see here that they can we can go for one dragon claw against them we're going to 
and be able to still take this icicle spear and we will be able to go for another dragon claw to knock out the opponent's wall right here which will be very nice next opponent we will see gust lord against mandibas a very good lead for me mandibas is a pokemon that we kind of wall with this thing as well which you can see here just my damage with a fast move alone going to put this thing so low already going to put so much pressure on this aerial ace does as much damage basically as we did already with our fast moves and we had 100 energy as uh, so we can now go for and dragon claw get this below half health and get out the needle queen yeah i could have went for the um yeah for my crunch but i didn't and i went for the dragon claw which is maybe not ideal but um the thing is here as well the Dragon Claw does I think it's 50 damage for 35 energy. If you would have Brutal Swing, it would be 65 damage for 40 energy, which would be way better. So this would have helped me in this matchup maybe as well. I don't really want to go for the crunch because it's also a little bit of a risk there. So I don't know, maybe like I, in my opinion, I think the Brutal Swing might be the way to go on this Pokemon and you most likely should try that out. Here we were able to catch a move, but I make a small mistake and the small mistake actually a huge mistake. But actually as well, kind of not. You have to see. Uh, here by overfiring too much, I could have went from the charge move already. I had no CMP tied on it and it's kind of awkward because otherwise I think they just would have farmed me down anyway. So I don't think it really mattered. But uh, at this point of time, we have to take one move. And if we are not surviving this with more HP than the opponent, we're going to lose it anyway. So I'm going to surrender here. Next opponent, we see a Stunfisk in the lead. This is horrible. This is basically unplayable. This will be a difficult one to win this still because we have to go into our Drapion. Um, this is a Pokemon I didn't really prepare for. I don't really see a ton of Stunfisk recently in this meta anymore. There are other Steel types that kind of got more usage than Stunfisk, but um, still definitely a fine Pokemon to use. Definitely a good Pokemon to use from my opponent, and it will be kind of hard warding us. But not with my Drapion. Drapion will be able to go for the awkward tail spam, trying to get the shields back here, as we will be able to shield up their charge moves as well. Very nice made by the opponent. Going for one rock slide doesn't really help them as, as much either, because we're going to be able to go for an awkward tail, getting their final shield as well. And at least this is the reason why you want to run the awkward tail in the Ultra League. We will be able to go into a Toxic Rook. I have to hope that they don't reach the Earthquake. I think they would have reached the Earthquake if they wanted to, but this is just a rock slide, and I will be able to farm them all the way down, which allows me now to go into my Gaslord against the Trevenant, and now in comes the Nido Queen. I'm gonna go for the Crunch, maybe get the debuff, but I already spoiled it. I don't think I get a single debuff with my Crunches yet. Again, I think here Brutal Swing might be a little bit better. Brutal Swing would have been able to get to two moves pretty easily while I am now stuck with my Dragon Claw, which will not knock them out yet. And it's kind of awkward because we are missing by one HP. Imagine if I got the debuff though, it would have helped me out a little bit more. But yeah, again, Crunch is basically only good if you get the debuff. And if you don't get the debuff, which is a 70% chance for that, um, it's going to be definitely not the best move. We see here them still gaining to one shadow ball, which is going to knock me out. That's going to be a good game training us. There's not a lot that I can redo really here as we see a Trevenant against us again. Trevenant is fine. We can stay in here that we can hot roll this Pokemon as we see a Warring coming in, which we, where we can go into our Toxic Trog. And they're going to go for Icicle Spear, which is fine for me. As long as they're going to let this move go through, I'm totally okay with this because I will be able to swipe two Icicle Spears from those war reigns which is amazing i don't have to shield here this will not knock me out and i will be able to knock them out means i can realign i can put my um good old um gas lord here against the opponent's trevenant which will be amazing as i can go ahead and just hard wall this thing we see a toxic row coming in i'm gonna go for one drain claw just to get some chip damage on this pokemon already so i can swap out into my drapion and just pressure that so hard with the awkward tail it's still going to be an interesting matchup though because we're going to see here now that they can go for the mud bomb and they always time it perfectly fine onto my charge move here onto my awkward tail but the thing here is i should be still kind of okay i will be able to get them lower and lower with my poison sting damage already which actually did more damage than i thought i will be able to shield this move up here and as it's a CMP tie again, I will be able to get either their Toxic Rogue, which is good for me, or their Shield, which is also good for me, because I can farm them down with my Gus Lord, and my Gus Lord can go for one Crunch here against the opponent's Trevenant, which will now go down from this move, and I can farm them all the way down. Gus Lord winning us the game here, as we see the next opponent having a Cresselia against us. Cresselia is, of course, not a Pokemon that I like too much. This is something where you kind of need some more experience. But this is actually my favorite game here. 
because my opponent played so well. My opponent played really, really well in this game. Um, Shout out to them. They played this very, very well. We will see the Cresselia. Yeah, actually, I get the debuff there. Never mind. I got the debuff. Maybe Crunch is better. I got one debuff there, which literally doesn't help me at all. But <laughs> I will be able to go for another Crunch here now, which will get shielded as well. Which also got the debuff. Never mind. Maybe Crunch debuff. I'm, I'm super lucky. Never mind. Don't get me wrong, crunch, best move ever. We will see the Mandibus coming in here though, as this aerial ace. Um, we will not do a ton of damage here, but this kind of runs out the clock there. I kind of want to swap on their Moonblast into my Drapion and not like onto the Mandibus, which we can hardwall. So this is less than ideal here, um, but I will be able to get some damage on them and I will be able to store a move to swap out later for the Nido Queen, uh, for the Cresselia there, but... It's kind of tricky. They go for Aerial Ace. I'm going to go into my Gaslord now, I think. After this next one, I'm going to go into my Gaslord. And I hopefully have a great time here, but we have to see. I will be able to farm them. I will be able to farm them all the way down, actually. And yeah, again, this cushion, you can choose whatever you want. If you go for Crunch, you can get the debuff, which is cool. If you go for the Brutal Swing, you have basically more consistent damage. Whatever you find best, go for that. We see a Dragalgy coming in here. I go for the crunch expecting the opponent's Cressalia and now the opponent's Cressalia going to snipe me here, which is not ideal, but yeah, we're going to be able to at least keep two crunches here, right? Two crunches going to be nice against Cressalia. We'll be knocking it out. No, they are not knocking it out. That's kind of horrible. Okay, at least I mean, maybe maybe the opponent runs Gangshot on the on the Dragology. Gangshot is a pretty common. It's like a 50-50 if you run Gangshot or Outrage. With Outrage, I'm kind of screwed here, but with Gangshot, I still would be able to win this game and see. Must be Gangshot, right? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> so sadly, you're going to lose this game here as we can go into the final game. I think I could have easily won this game before if I played better, but my opponent played really well and just outplayed me there. So good game to my opponent. Next opponent, we see a Koma O against my Gustlord. That's a very cool matchup because they have basically two dragons that are double weak to fairy types, which is kind of nice. We can basically use both for both sides. They have close combat, I have the crunch as a coverage. Both of them are very decent moves. We see the Drapion coming in. I will be able to go for the Dragon Claw to weaken them a little bit, which allows me now to swap it into my Drapion to farm them all the way down. I don't have to shield. I don't have to do anything here. I will just be able to go straight for the farm down. I will get out of this matchup with some energy. And I will see also whatever they have in the back now. And they're going to have in the back the Komo again. Komo is fine for me. I will be able to go for one charge move. They will be able to shield this move up here. I can shield my own move up as well. And let's see. I want to realign here. I want to know what they're going to have in the back. It's going to be a skunk tank going to get hit by another charge move. And at this point, I can just go into my Gazlord, go for one Dragon Claw, finish off this thingy here, and finish off also the opponent's Komo O. Are winning us the game here. So, Gaslord is a cool Pokemon. Definitely would recommend you to try to at least trade and grind some for the cool Ultra League and for the Great League. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I see you in the next video and have a great rest of your day. Bye!